Good morning, guys. What's going on? We're out here fishing right before front. We got a nice coot on. Whoa. It's crazy. I actually thought it was a snook for a second. He jumped all over the place. Let's pull him in the boat here. Coot on the boat. Nice. That's a stud. For this area. Uh oh. Awesome, the x 20 in the orange and yellow, orange and yellow color is killing it lately. Come on, let it go. All right, does this hook the fish and I get caught on this, on this pylon? A little bit of a mess. First snook of the day. We made it happen. I don't know how that how he managed to catch that fish, honestly. That rope should have popped him off as soon as he got hooked. But I saw a bunch of head shaking and splashes going on. And I'm like, he's hooked on the sidewall. So lucky I didn't lose my lure or anything. But we're gonna let this little guy go. I felt bad for him there, but he's gonna be okay. All right. He's ready. And he's off. So now that's two for two on fish this morning. Lucky we didn't lose that guy, so let's see what else we can get. Let's start trolling again. While we're out here, I wanna share some exciting news with you guys coming in from Ireland. I have a bunch of fans that contacted me and they wanted me to share that information with you. And this is coming in from Ballycotton in County Cork, Ireland. And they are hosting the Ballycotton Big Fish which is a four day shark fishing tournament in Ireland. And this is taking place September 12th through 15th, 2019. And this is the first international shark tournament in Ireland ever, which is pretty cool. And entries are now open. You can find out more information about this tournament by going to the website, ballycottonbigfish.com. I'm also going to include all that information down in the description below for you guys to check out. And if any of you guys are in the Europe or Ireland area, check out the tournament. It sounds like it's gonna be a blast. Hooked up. Pretty sure I've got a snook on. We're gonna find out how big he is here in a second. But all these fish are crushing all of my lures today, which is awesome. I love all colors. Wow, this snook absolutely choked this lure. Let me flip them in. Woo! This thing is buried. It's buried in its mouth right now. But we're gonna get this out real quick and I'll show you the lure in just a second. But once again, all the lures I love to use for saltwater fishing, just in general, are in my Amazon store. Check it out, link down in the description below, and uh, you'll find everything that I love to use. And if you buy anything, you support my channel for free. So that's awesome. Hungry little guy. All right. I don't know how Brian did that uh, surgery there, but we were able to cut him off that lure and let him go, but he had those hooks buried in his mouth. I feel bad that it wasn't real fish for that guy because he was hungry. <laughs> hey guys, we switched it up. We're now having a lot of moving water. So we have a lot of fresh shrimp, live bait with us, live shrimp. So I just, we switched up our technique. This guy's so lively. And just pitched out my first shrimp underneath the boat structure, of course. And this little guy just munched on it. So he got a free meal. But that's the smallest snook I've caught in a really long time. He's super cute. Let's get him back in the water. But that just goes to show you that our fishery is healthy, which is I like to see little guys. So he's gonna make it. Ooh, even the little ones, they really shake quite, quite a bit. All right, I'm excited. I'm gonna get a line back out. That was the first bait in the water. Let's see, how, let's see, let's see what else I can catch. I can't even talk, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, guys, I got a snook on. Switched up our technique again. Woo! Doing all kinds of crazy jumps. Whoa! Really lively guy. So we set, switched up our technique again. Instead of using the live shrimp, we seem to be catching more fish on the troll today. So that's what we decided to do. Beautiful snook in the boat. Can't complain. We got three snook already today, looking for the mama, the big one, and I'm not gonna complain. A snook is a snook in my book, but I'm gonna, once again, show you these lures here, and just as, as soon as I get this guy unhooked, so you guys can do this too. Okay, 
Okay. There we go. Another little snook. snook little snook are hungry today. Let's get him right back in the water though. Woo! You're free. Okay. So I, today, since we have higher water, I'm you fishing my Azuri 3BD minnows, which are suspending minnows. I'm also using a combination of floating and suspending, but once again, Amazon store, you'll see all the colors I like, but you can see this one has an orange belly, green top. The Barracuda earlier hit a really light color, orange belly, yellow top. So for whatever reason, the orange is working today, but Yuzuri 3B, 3DB minnows and link is down below. So check them out. But the other colors that I'm using is just an assortment and I'm getting a bite on every single one today. So you just never know. You got to switch it up. You got to be confident in your lures and you just got to fish them. I fish that ledge when you get close to it. Here's a ledge right here. Fish on. Big splash back there. Is he gone? Oh, that's well, small, whatever it is then, he's not gone. <laughs> what do we got? Snooky! Look at this, they're loaded on that wall. That's crazy. Snook number four. Woo! They are some feisty snook today. Whoa, whoa! All right, we are just snook slaying today, guys. This is awesome. Just keep going back over this one particular area and I was just fishing two rods. Last time I was holding the rod when we got the snook bite. Just popped that right out. Once again, another green, uh, another green top orange belly guy getting crushed. This is awesome. Okay, <laughs> there he goes. All right, pretty cool. We got like five species today and four snook, not bad. So I'm just excited to see what, what else we can get in the boat today. We have decided to take a little break from fishing and we have a couple baits. We're gonna go check our stone crab trap. What, we're fishing? Uh, so, uh, all right, one trap. That's it. I need some appetizers. Just one. <laughs> it better be one. Hey guys, checking out one of, oh my gosh, what is this? We're checking one of our stone crab traps to basically just check it because why not? Let's see what we got inside. Holy crap. Look at that. You know what that big old slimy thing is? Is a freaking octopus. And oh. there's a stone crab. I'm, well, I see a tentacle here and it's got little things. Oh my God. Oh geez. <laughs> I'm a little bit freaked out. Even though he's so, oh my God. <laughs> even though he's so small. On oh, all the years we've been doing this, which is only two, we have never caught an octopus in our trap. But the crazy thing is that we just put this bait in three days ago and I wanted to add more bait to it, but you can see a stone crab has been destroyed and I've never actually seen a stone crab like the inside of the shell like that, which makes me think the octopus did that. Which is why there's only one other stone crab in here. Grab that octopus. Pretty crazy. Let's get them out. No, oh, I'm scared. Grab them. How do you grab them? Carefully. Oh my gosh. You do it. You're the star. He's, he's sticking to the net. I'm trying. Grab him. I'm trying. Get glove on. No. I'm scared. Get your sizzle. I'm scared. His tentacles are broken. One of his. I am scared to death. Better you than me. Yeah, thanks a lot, Brian. Grab the octopus. <laughs> What about the ink? There's no ink. I don't see no ink. Oh my gosh, he won't let me pick him up. He won't let go. Ah, he's going through the trap. That's not gross. Hold on. He just won't let me grab him, dude. I got him in the net. Let's, let's see if I can put him in my hand. Put it in your hand for the thumbnail. I can't do it. Do it. I can't. I'll give you a hundred dollars. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I can't do it. Brian, do it first, and then I'll do it. Put it in my That's hand. That's the deal. You ready? Yeah. He's all colorful now. Put it in your hand. Get ready. 
thinking of you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do that. No! <laughs> ah, you you gotta do that. Go. You gotta do that. No! <laughs> I can't do that! Yes. No! Yes! Look, he's cute. You're probably not allowed to Is play with him. Is it hurting? No. Just thinking. Are you lying? No, I'm not lying. You're, You're lying! Put it down. Put it down. Your antennas. Climb up. Climb up. Grab my head. I got him in my hands with gloves. I'm literally a scaredy cat, guys. I cannot do this with with bare hands. I'm sure you could, but uh, I decided not to. So let's see if this guy will just let go of me. He's all suction cup to my gloves and go home. There he goes. Octopus, you're set free. But pretty freaking cool to see that in the trap. Never touched or handled an octopus. I don't even know what species that is. If maybe one of you guys do, I'm sure one of you guys know. Uh, go ahead and comment below and let us know so we can learn together. But that was pretty amazing. He, um, I even put him in our little like, our little uh, like bait well for a second just to give him some water and then released him real quick. So that was awesome. And we even got a crab in there. But I'm pretty sure he ate the other crab. Really cool. If you want to go ahead, go ahead and share your octopus. Uh, experiences in the comments that would be awesome I'd love to hear from you because that was my first experience ever wrap it up awesome day how, how many species again 12 species and count on the octopus I counted yes pretty incredible yeah I know a lot of small snook but guys get out there in the water all kinds of great stuff happening first octopus I ever saw in real life like that yeah, for sure <laughs> so until next time follow your dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching, catching.